Craig Mish and Bob Nightingale just reported that the Miami Marlins and Minnesota Twins have agreed to a deal swapping relievers. Dylan Floro is going from the Marlins to the Twins in exchange for Jorge Lopez. Before we get started, as always, hit that like button, subscribe. As trades happen, this is the place you want to be. Videos coming out with analysis, reactions, grades, winner, loser, all that stuff coming out as soon as things drop. Kim Ng's trade deadline has officially begun with the Marlins acquiring Jorge Lopez for Dylan Floro. Now this move is pretty su substantial. Last year, Jorge Lopez was an all-star with Baltimore posting a 1-6-8 ERA in 48 and a third innings pitch. He struck out 54 batters while only walking 17. He gave up three long balls. With a .972 whip, that was good enough to make the all-star team with Baltimore. However, at, he got traded to the Twins at the trade deadline last year, and then with the Twins posted a 4.37 ERA in 22 and two-thirds innings pitch. This season with Minnesota, he has a 5.09 ERA in 35 innings. A big thing, he's given up seven home runs this season. Strikeout numbers, 27 to only 11 walks, so he's limiting the walk still. However, the long ball has come to bite him. Now, what I really, really like about this trade if you're a Marlins fan and you're getting Jorge Lopez, he was an all-star last year. He has the stuff. I think Minnesota is substantially worse in the pitching development section than Miami. We look at what Miami was has done with Jesus Lazardo and all their young relievers. We look at all the other guys in the Marlins pitching staff and how they've been able to kind of flourish and how they've been able to develop pitchers. I know Sandy's taken a step back this year, so has Dylan Floro, but I really like the move for the Marlins. Now for the Twins, you're getting Dylan Floro. Again, Floro this season, 4.54 ERA, 39 and two-thirds innings pitch, 41 strikeouts, 11 walks. He's given up three home runs. His numbers aren't too terribly different than last year. However, he's giving up a few more hits. Last year, he gave up 48 hits in 53 and two-thirds innings. This year, 48 hits in 39 and two-thirds innings. However, we go back to the years before. 2020 with the Dodgers, 2.59 ERA in 24 and a third innings. 2021, 281 ERA in 64 innings. 2022, 302 ERA in 53 and two-thirds innings pitch. Now for the Twins, if you're able to turn Floro back into the you know, low three ERAs pitcher that he's been the last couple seasons, that's a great move for you guys. Clearly his whip is at a 1.487, which is you know, quite a bit more than the 1.1, 1.2 that he's been sitting at the last couple years. So if you're able to limit the amount of hits he gives up, I think the Twins can get a really good solid reliever here. Essentially, the baseline of this trade is swapping two struggling relievers for each team. Floro clearly wasn't really working out for the Marlins this year. Jorge Lopez never really worked out for the Twins. This is ultimately one of those change of scenery trades. Both sides have a struggling guy. They want to change the scenery and hope that they revert back to their old forms. Overall, I like both guys in this trade going to their new teams. I think I tend to favor the Twins with Dylan Floro more often than I'm going to favor the Marlins with Jorge Lopez, only because Floro's track record is a little bit better. But however, Jorge Lopez has the raw stuff and talent. He was an all-star last season to absolutely turn it around. And I don't not trust the Marlins and their pitching staff and their pitching coaches. Overall, I think both teams in this trade, it's going to be kind of lame. I think they're both going to get a B. I really like how you're swapping struggling relievers and hope to find something. Worst case scenario, both these guys were like almost borderline DFA candidates if they continue to struggle and blow up more. But let me know what you guys think about this trade. Two struggling relievers swap for each other. Who do you think won this trade? I'm actually really curious to know, you know what you guys think. Do you think the Twins won this trade? Do you think the Marlins won this trade? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, this is the place you, you want to be for all trade deadline stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.